What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Me is May. My name is Mia. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel, my happy place, my lion's den. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this might be silly, but I want something to call my subscribers. I want a name to call my subscribers and I need your help. The name that I'm thinking are my cubs. Like my little, like your cubs. If I'm a lion, you're my little cub, my little babies, my friends. I don't know. I just need a cute little name to call my subscribers, y'all my friends, my homies. If you like cubs, let me know. If you got a suggestion, you already know what to do. You already know what to do. But in today's video, I am going to be doing my makeup as well as answering all of your questions regarding my school. If you are interested in getting the tea on Paul Mitchell, then keep on watching. And if you wanna see how I did this face, mm, mm, <laughs> they keep on watching. Oh, hi. A long time no see. Let's just do this. I haven't done my makeup in a little while, so it might come out a little trash. I'm not really going to talk about the products because one, it's what I always use, and two, I want to talk about the questions that you guys have sent me. So that's what we're going to do. First question is What made you choose Paul Mitchell? Well, it is like the Harvard of hair school. It was always a dream to go to hair school and when I was in high school, I took cosmetology, but my parents wouldn't let me take it right out of high school, so I had to go to college. So there's another question, why did I go to college? Because they made me. <laughs> but I am grateful that I went and I do encourage everyone to go and if you know, if you know for a fact that hair's what you want to do, then go to cosmetology school. I chose Paul Mitchell because we you know, had people come in and talk to us sometimes and Paul Mitchell was just one that stood out. It's a name that stood out and like I said, it's the Harvard of Hair School. So, would you recommend it to others? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I would recommend it to everyone. I do. However, like I can only speak on my location. We are not like a makeup and skin based location. So if you are just really into doing like skin and nails and um, makeup, I don't recommend you spending so much money just to go to Paul Mitchell. I would recommend you going somewhere that specializes in that. However, we do learn a lot about makeup and everything but it's not a heavy emphasis on it because it's hair school. If that's like your main interest and that's why you're going, I wouldn't recommend doing the full program, so. What are your plans after school? I am halfway through the course. It's been pretty, it's been a journey. Um, after school, I plan on hopefully opening my own salon and doing hair. And then if that doesn't work out, of course, like finding a good salon to work in, but having your own spot is always a goal. What is your advice for anyone thinking about starting hair school? My advice would be to remain extremely open-minded when you go. If you do have some previous knowledge, just stay open-minded because these instructors, they know what they're talking about. And I know that there can be like negative Nancy's that are like, mm -mm, they don't know. Like, you know, I don't know. Just be a really open-minded. I would fish around and make sure that you pick the right school for you and what you want to do. I wouldn't go just based off of the name because even though that's kind of what I did, I would encourage people to find what works for them. So like if you know that weave is your main interest and stuff, I would go to a school that actually teaches like extensions and stuff like that. But my advice would just be open-minded, be a positive person and just do what you love. Do it for yourself and don't forget why you started if you start. What is the hardest part about hair school? The hardest part is staying motivated. Not gonna lie, I'm halfway through the course and I have lost a little motivation like to keep going and just to 
go. I've lost that motivation because there's a lot that goes on y'all oh my gosh you're in a building full of women and it's just like you deal with so many attitudes you deal with so much so many different like energies and vibes and I believe in that like energy how you can pick up someone else's negative energy and there's so much of that that I found myself like when I go, I'll be in such a good mood in the morning and then one person can kill that. And then I just got attitude for the rest of the day because I'm stubborn. But that's probably the hardest thing. It's just like finding that motivation to keep going. Now I know I'm going to keep going because I'll never let anyone take away what I started from me. You know, it's the hardest part and that it takes up so much of your time did you go into this week knowing a lot about haircutting i feel like i'm super unprepared i've done a few haircuts in my life but obviously not up to professional standards so i did go in to school with some knowledge because like i said i did take it in high school for three years so i did have some knowledge on haircutting however they are really good at teaching um i got a lot of knowledge from my instructor she was awesome she was my favorite core teacher it's really hard to talk and do makeup at the same time not gonna lie this takes skill but yes i did have some knowledge on it um but don't be scared because you're gonna learn that there's a lot of people that have zero experience coming into the school and turn out to be the best freaking hairstylist in the world so what is the process for enrolling to enroll you find your local paul mitchell whatever's closest to you and you either can call or go up in to the location um you just inquire about it and someone from the admissions team should reach out to you they will um give you a lot of information whatever questions that ugh, ugh. whatever questions that you have they will answer it so you'll go in you'll take a tour they'll show you around the whole place and then like if you're really super interested and you have your mind made up that Paul Mitchell is the school for you you'll pay your like startup fee that day I think it's like a hundred dollars and then you like fill out a bunch of paperwork questionnaire all this stuff and then you're you pick a date to start and you're set so that is it that's the easiest enrollment process really what are the specifics to the dress code the specifics for the dress code are black more black on top of black and some more black <laughs> now I can only speak for my location we can only wear black unless you are a phase two student which kind of means like an honor student we can only wear black i know some schools that allow them to wear gray and white but we can only wear black what is your favorite thing to do my favorite thing to do is cut i love cutting hair it is so much fun to learn it is so much fun to do i think that's like what i really want to specialize in i don't really like the men's cuts not my thing i've been learning pixie cuts because my sister my older sister has a pixie cut so i've been learning that and then i also really enjoy color color is so much fun because it's like a little science experiment every day well not every day but every time you do color it's just really fun and i the transformations are so fun to watch and I just freaking love it. What is your favorite and least favorite part of school? My favorite part is taking clients. I freaking love taking clients. It's just so fun to get to know people and meet so many new people. I also really love meeting like everyone that at the school, especially like every time a new core class comes, I love meeting them. I've created so many relationships with just my clients alone. They're awesome and i love them and it's really cool to watch a clientele build as well my least favorite part is kind of like what i talked about earlier which is like that toxic energy i don't know like sometimes that place like going to school can really drain you and this happens anywhere this isn't just like at my school this is anywhere just so, when there's so many people in one building in one location it can really 
drain you, okay? It's probably my least favorite part, and then sometimes I get bored if I don't have clients. <laughs> so, which I typically do have a lot of clients, so that's the best part, taking clients. <laughs> what was the scariest part starting out? Oh gosh, the scariest thing was really just not knowing what to expect other than that you are fine like that was the only thing was just not knowing what to expect i tried to find a lot of youtube videos similar to what i posted to prepare myself but it was really hard because they weren't really detailed a lot of people would talk about their first week but not show their first week people were probably too nervous to film in school or i don't know but it was just like it wasn't detailed enough for me to really know what to expect. So, so that's also kind of why I made my videos as detailed as I could, showed y'all as much as I could. It's just the best way to prepare. Do you have any tips or tricks? Oh my gosh, um, tips or tricks? Other than snatching my nose too much. <laughs> uh, I don't have any tricks. Okay, look, I can do this. And I can do this. <laughs> um, I can do this. <laughs> as far as tips, it kind of piggybacks off of something I already said. When you go in, just be open-minded and be a positive person. And just really try to retain the information that is given to you. So that you can really prepare for your state boards. Uh, <laughs> be yourself. Don't let anybody bring you down. Just be yourself. Have fun. Like, make friends. Remember you're not there to make friends. Because there's a lot of women, okay? They can be shading. They can be faking. Your, your best friend can be a stranger tomorrow. So, just go in there have the best time enjoy it while it lasts which is really my goal because it's already i'm already halfway through the program it's flying by so freaking fast hi me i'm thinking about going to paul mitchell and do you go at your own pace hi you should totally go if it's something you're interested in yeah you go at your own pace once you got a court you're pretty much on your own getting your worksheets done and stuff is solely on you coming to school is solely on you so yeah you got your own pace and I love that because I can either take my time or I can rush and it's up to me you know do you feel like you're missing out on aesthetics slash nails because of the heavy hair emphasis not at all if we're gonna be honest I actually I'm very interested in like skincare because I'm always trying to figure out how to make my skin better but I didn't sign up to be an esthetician. I didn't sign up to do makeup. I signed up for hair. So don't feel like I'm missing out personally because I'm doing exactly what I signed up for. Don't get me wrong. We do learn nails. We do learn some skin. It's just this isn't nail school or aesthetics. I don't even know what it's called. Is it esthetician school? I don't know. This isn't that. This is hair school with a little bit of that. I don't feel like I'm missing out on any of it because I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's cool to know though. It's cool to know it. It's cool to like have that knowledge and be able to do it if it's something that I want to pick up on. But it's just not my big interest, you know? Does Paul Mitchell cut hair curly or do they straighten it? It really just depends on your hair type and what kind of cut you're doing. They teach us to cut wet and then you refine it once it's dry now when it comes to curly hair for me it's easiest to straighten it but you can also cut it curly so it just kind of depends on the person what they want and the end results and all that good stuff <laughs> hi i love your videos i just went on a tour yesterday and i'm really considering going to paul mitchell my location only offers full time i'm just wondering do you have a job you go to after school i currently work full time and my hours at work would conflict with school so i'll have to find a new job just wondering what should i do sis thank you so much for watching my videos i really appreciate it now as far as what you should do it really just depends on your living conditions i am blessed and honored that 
I don't have to pay any bills and I can live at home. So I don't have to work. She doesn't make me pay any bills at all. All I do is go to school. That's my main focus. Like I said, it just depends on your living conditions. If you can afford to put work aside for 11 months and go to school, then do it, girl. But if it's going to put you in a bind and you're going to be, you know, kind of struggling, don't don't put that burden on yourself. That's just my opinion. This is just my advice, you know. I wouldn't recommend you to quit your job to go to school and then put yourself in a lot of debt. Like I said, it just depends on your living conditions and if you can afford it, then go for it. I followed you on TikTok, LOL, but one question. Do you have to wear makeup every day? At Paul Mitchell. I've been binge watching your videos because I'm thinking about going in the fall. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for being my friend on TikTok. <laughs> if you don't follow me on TikTok, you totally should. At It's Me and Shadi, okay? Okay. Yes, you have to wear makeup every single day to school. We are in the beauty industry and that's, you know, that's our whole focus is beauty. We do have to wear makeup every day. However, for myself personally, I just do my eyebrows every day and a little bit of like lip gloss. You just basically have to look put together. You do not have to come in there with a full face. Some people really do like to go all out with their makeup and get really creative at my school, but it's just not something that I want to do and it's not something that I'm going to do. How long is the program? So I'm a full-time student, which is 11 months. They're Tuesday through Saturday from 9.30 until five o'clock every single day. If you want to go part-time, it is 14 months and it is, you go to school from 9.30 until 2.30 every day. There's also a night school option, which is from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday. You are there for two years. <laughs> Can't do it. The total of each program, you just have to have 1,500 hours. Where are your books? Our books are on our iPads. Everything we need is on our iPad. <laughs> so hard to talk and do mascara at the same time. But yeah, every single thing that we need is on our iPads. We do not have hard copies like hard books do you get to keep your ipad girl yes you can keep that ipad you pay for it it's yours it came in your kit that is your ipad you can do whatever you want with it once you break it i think that you're responsible for replacing it but you do get to keep your ipad it's all yours can you add name brands to your makeup kit you can not add anything outside of paul mitchell to any of your kits no makeup no products nothing everything has to be paul mitchell or what you know what they brought in the kit how much does this school cost the entire program totals to just under $20,000. Yes, $20,000. I am spending $20,000 for an 11 month program. I do have to pay every single month. You can get financial aid or you can pay every like pay it all up front. That way you don't have any loans at the end so you'll pay like $1,500, $1,600 a month. I do have financial aid and I just pay a certain amount every month and then like once I'm done, I'll have to pay it off just like student loans. I do think it's worth it. I'm gonna be a cosmetologist, so. Do they teach you black folks hair? Yes, girl, they teach you everything. You learn every single hair texture. You learn every single hair type. You learn how to do it all. The more clients that you take in your chair, the more you learn about that hair texture. You'll learn that everybody's hair is not the same. You cannot do everybody's hair the same. But yes, you do. You, you learn everybody's hair. Hey, it ain't no such thing as black folk hair, white folks hair. Hair is hair, okay? At the end of the day, hair is hair. But yes, you learn it. <laughs> do I have any advice? I've been asked this question already, but I do have something else. Um, another thing that I would really recommend is that you really take advantage of the opportunity. So far, I've taken advantage of some of the opportunities. One of them was a local fashion show and helping out with hair and makeup for the models that were walking in the fashion show. And that was just really cool. It was a really great way to network. I also do recommend getting business cards. I got my own business cards. I'll insert a picture here. That's just another great way to network, get your name out there, and get some business, girl, because 
now is when you start building your clientele right now another thing that i am really trying to take advantage of is caper i did get in to caper yay i was the first person in my school to qualify which is actually really really cool i was hustling my butt off but i am going to caper unfortunately because of the coronavirus it is canceled we were actually supposed to leave today <laughs> today but it got canceled because of the coronavirus so it will be postponed it's not canceled it will do it at a later date but yeah that is something that i strongly encourage is for you to take full advantage of all of the opportunities that are handed out if they say i need 20 people to do xyz do it like take advantage of this opportunity what do you use for your verse of the day my favorite thing to use for the verse of the day is the Bible app. I love the Bible app. I live by the Bible app. I swear by the Bible app. I have it on my iPhone. It's a free app. If you don't have it, you should totally download it. I have it come to my phone at 9 a.m. every single morning. And although I don't do my weekly vlogs, I still do my verse of the day. I still start my day off with a little bit of Jesus and I'm still saying my prayers. That is what I use. And then if you don't have it, you should totally go and get it because what better way than to start your day off with a little bit of Jesus. Don't forget to say your prayers, okay? And for my final and probably the most asked question, where are the vlogs? Guys, okay, here's the thing. I just want you to listen to me. I just want you to hear me out, okay? I stopped the vlogs because I was, I, once I got out of course when I stopped vlogging. Weekly vlogs are difficult to do because I am now on the floor, I'm taking clients, some people don't wanna be filmed, and it's just like, it's really difficult to film. I can't film when I'm in theory, which is twice a week. Sometimes in specialty, it's not much to show. So it's just like, I don't know when to film. And I know y'all don't wanna see a week of the verse of the day. Like, I, want, I know y'all want to actually see See what I'm doing and be involved and engaged and I really do understand but I don't I really just don't have time to film I don't have time to now I'm gonna probably regret saying this I'm gonna really try it y'all I can't have my phone let alone a camera in theory but I'm going to try to pick back up on more like weekly vlogs or a day in the life of an adaptive and then when i switch over to creative a day in the life of creative like just let me know if that's something y'all are interested in you gotta let me know though because if y'all don't say nothing i won't know that y'all still i mean i know y'all still want to see the vlogs but i won't know that it's something that you're still interested in leave some comments and suggestions down below of what else i should film paul mitchell related and i will do my best to get that content out for you guys i really appreciate all of the feedback i really appreciate all of the questions that you guys have sent in to me but if i didn't answer a question that you might have or if you might be confused about something that i did answer leave a comment below Below and let me know what that is or you can come over to my Instagram and send me a direct message I am always 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 responding to everybody every single comment every single DM every single message I appreciate you guys I love you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up but that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos don't forget to hit that bell notification right next to it so that you don't miss a beat okay okay, okay. but yeah guys i will see y'all in my next video love you all so much